Can you barely see? Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, we're back out at the beach, finally. Okay, Emmy Week has finished, and well, we've got a whole busy week ahead for you. Oh, I guess you want to hear news, don't you? Okay, well, I guess there have been other things going on besides the Emmy. Cold. I know, as you can see, it's a little bit on the cool side outside with the overcast and kind of yucky. I heard the sun's supposed to be breaking because yesterday it was so freaking hot at the Emmys. I mean, it was. <sighs> but anyway, the news still continues. And the market collapses on Obama. Mass has soaked the rich plan. More possible downgrades on the way. Oh, isn't that amazing? Like he's. This isn't class warfare. The Republicans are staging class warfare because they don't feel that. Uh, that the lower class pays enough. Well, they, they don't pay anything. So therefore, oh. yeah. And they said that he pitched exactly the same plan that he pitched to the Democrats in 2-9 that the Democrats refused to go along Are you with. Serious? Yeah. I mean, it's just like he, he it's all about his reelection and everybody's getting the idea that it is not he doesn't give a damn about the economy. And who would have thought that a liberal Democrat would think of raising taxes so he could continue spending? Yeah, they uh, they said that he's, he's not putting forth any figures again other than the fact that we're going to do this and we're going to do that <laughs> and we're going to but we're going to cut you know deficit down. Well, no, he doesn't cut the deficit down by anything, folks. Oh, really? It just allows him to spend another billion and a half trillion, but he's not going to get it because the Democrats will not approve. I mean, you okay? Two-thirds of the members of the Senate that are up for re-election are Democrats, and there's got, they've got nine vacant seats that they're going to try to hold. So you think that they're going to raise taxes on businesses? No. Uh, I see. And PE firm circling AOL. Turn attention to Yahoo. Yeah, well, because uh, it works this way, one way or the other. Either Yahoo's going to buy AOL or AOL's going to buy Yahoo. Um, who's got more money? Uh, basically Yahoo, Yahoo does, yeah. Yahoo does? Yep. But AOL's Time Warner. Not anymore. They split themselves oh. off from them. They, they, Time Warner ate like a half a trillion dollars in losses on AOL. Oh, well, that is definitely Yahoo. I think they'll just become absorbed. Yeah. Life. Yeah. Who would have guessed that a TV series featuring gay characters in a normal family life would win big at the Emmys? Uh, but, I, you know, that's a modern family. Yeah, I mean, you know, basically, this was the most diverse show ever done in history any Academy Awards. They finally decided to put a guest host on that showed the diversity of this nation. Well, I can guarantee you before she was gay, she used to really have a great looking hot figure. Uh -huh. And I don't know how many times, she, she changed quite a few times, but she was the lady of the night. That yeah, well, they're, they're, they're pushing the gay agenda no matter what. what are in, but also the reviewers, if, if you were a gay rights person or gay, those reviewers, this was the greatest show ever done. And if you were just a person that earns your living reviewing things, the show stunk. Mm -hmm. And Hulu sell at risk even as new bids are due. Yeah, yeah because um, the, this going under, because the, the Comcast has no desire to have it because it interferes with their their own system, which, you know, their, their cable and Internet. They basically have their own way of downloading stuff and and Hulu doesn't work. It doesn't make money. It isn't likely to make money, but they figure that it's a perfect fit for Google, who is basically getting out of the viral industry and going into the, the rental business, folks. And even Democrats question Obama's $1.5 trillion in new taxes, well, not as much as one actual dollar in spending cuts. Well, he said it includes the spending cuts that they did before, which amounted to $30 billion over 10 years. $30 billion over 10. There was a trillion and a half in spending cuts. No, there wasn't. There was thirty billion in in deficit reduction. The rest of it was stuff that was already in. You know what? He's recycled the same, saving money from the war in Iraq ending, saving money from the war in Afghanistan ending, uh, saving money on interest that we'll be paying, and a trillion and a half dollars uh, from the war ending in Iraq, and four hundred billion dollars from Medicare changes, which was fav fav figured into his health care bill. But there is, they did say, there, there is $75 billion in, um, in new savings, but that's also coming from taxes on people. Mm. And the Geithner presses EU to act and meets resistance. Because uh, the, basically it looks like Greece is going to go under no matter what, because their, their idea of deficit reduction is to continue to do things as they did before. Well, they actually, 
they said they're well we're going to raise taxes on all the businesses in the country we're going to raise taxes on the tourist industry everywhere where they're making money we're going to raise taxes and those taxes will show the EU, EU that we're serious well no because they're going to destroy their tourist industry and the other business is in the process everybody in the world but the United States and Geithner and Greece knows you can't raise taxes to get out of a recession I know where did they get that from a book uh, yeah yeah in it's, it's like in a um, sequestered area like right yeah yeah like the world does not exist it's only right there that's right um, White House teaching bans a lesson is not anti-american I, I know uh, basically, destroying the banks is not anti. Uh, we have to teach these banks a lesson. Mm -hmm. You know, they they're the cause of the problem. No, they aren't. The, the uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac is the cause of the problem. The banks picked up the bad loans that they made. That's the problem. And nobody can. You know, they're blaming the banks and everything, folks. No, they did. Uh, banks are basically who. Okay, Fannie Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac put the loans on sell and the banks pick the loans up. You assume that if the government made the loan, that's a good loan, but who, you know, the guy didn't realize that you were selling homes in Brentwood to people working for McDonald's, which I actually know that happened because I was working on a home in Brentwood and a woman that was living there worked at McDonald's. So, oh, really? Yeah. And potent forces try to tie hands with deficit panel. Well, yeah, because they, there's no money. Okay, the Democrats will not cut spending. They totally will not cut spending, and all they want to do is raise taxes. So basically, there will be, uh, okay, we're going to cut 700, okay, here's the way it works to the Republicans. If you don't do what we want you to do, you're automatically going to have $750 billion cut out of the, out of the Pentagon's budget. If you do do what we want to do, we're going to have to cut $750 billion out of the Pentagon's budget because they have to be shared sacrifice. Well, it's the same $750 million. So why would you want to get involved with something that's going to cost you exactly the same no matter what? Mm -hmm. And consumer mood up but outlook at 31-year low. Okay, that's, uh, that's an oxymoron. How could, how could it be better and be worse? Mm. It's an impossibility, but don't worry. This morning they uh, redevised it downward, saying that well there was a, a you know re, they rejiggered the figures. They discovered that last week's uptick in consumer sentiment didn't actually exist. Ah, and given a choice, two thirds of Republican voters would pick none of the above for their party's choice, meaning a convention by likely. Yeah, well they don't want those people. I mean they they what they're doing, they're electing uh, Rick Perry who looks like. You know, he wants to be on a, you know, wants to pose, you know, on a, on a runway as a fashion model. And Mitt Romney, who does, he refuses to admit he did anything wrong with Romney care. And then Michelle Bachman, who basically, you know, is uh, Barack Obama, you know, without the teleprompter. She can't say anything right either. Well, I'm just enjoying the view because we had somebody that just jogged by that looks like the new Superman. Uh, what is his name? Uh, Cavelli or something yeah. like that? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. It's possible, considering where we're at. He is quite sweet. Yeah. I I was very close to him. Yeah. Yeah, at Comic Con. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Reno Crash Plane had <coughs> had camera and memory cards found at scene. Well, they <laughs> said it had basically its own homemade version of a black box. The problem was, they cut five foot off of each wing. It cut the tail section what? down. Yeah, they said to make it so it would fly faster, but it became the. Uh, I knew they screwed with the ailerons, and the, and they, they basically they sh they sh they shortened the uh, ailerons on the wings and screwed with the tail tail section. So what happens? The plane started. He, he basically the plane doesn't perform. It doesn't perform. It was meant to go fast, <laughs> but it was not. It was not aerodynamically sound. There's a reason why the Mustang had wings the size it did and tells the side it did so the plane would perform in dives and everything else well so I can't believe they did that much of modification they that. they mod overly modified it. I mean they just I mean there was no thing that that plane could do you know they went into a barrel roll and they came out of the barrel roll going straight up and then they said because there was nothing uh, the, the the ailerons the trim tabs were not there he couldn't, they couldn't if, if it had been they said if it had been a normally built 
uh, Mustang, it would have easily because basically it was designed to do that very same function, was to dive and come out but of you it. You know what? I think part of it is they made the modifications and he forgot that it doesn't perform the same. It can go faster, but it can't come. It can't do the other uh, the same. He, he made it. He made it. That this one will be totally pyrolysis error because he he did a victory roll, and the victory roll could was not able to be performed in a plane with that kind of construction work done on it. Ouch! 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 But well, the tenth person <laughs> died this morning, and probably five more are going to die. I mean, they said the Reno air races are now finished. There'll be no more air races. I mean. The, the, maybe the uh, stuff in San Diego where they're racing pylons out over the ocean. The Red Bull. The Red Bull, but there'll be no more Reno Air Races because they're too close to the action. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a, it's a very, very, as you can see, a very dangerous sport. And higher Netflix prices equals fewer subscribers. Yeah, and this morning, they're, uh, well, we're going to split the company into two parts, but we're not going to reduce the, uh, you know, what we, uh, we're spending and what we charge people, which is driving people away. Are you serious? Oh, I, I actually, I, I got it. This is another good one. Um, I, I, I'm going to change the money bubbleism. That all you oh, know. I didn't say so though. I know, but I, I wanted to change it on us because this one's a good one. How do you know a Democrat is running a business? How? Uh, because the Democrat figures the best way to get your business going again is to redesign the menu you have, which people like, and to charge more for all of the products on your menu because you redesigned it. That's going to absolutely bring more people into your restaurant. Uh, Wendy's did that this morning. Are you serious? They upped the prices on their burgers because the, you know, and they, they can't sell the stuff now, so this morning they upped the prices. Well, what do we have to say about that?